Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to round five of the Mad Dragon Rugby Championship 2024. What a game in store today. Argentina going up against the Springboks. We've already had the Bledisloe Cup. We won't be ruining the results of that game. But taking a look at the table, how it stood at the end of round four, the Springboks out in the lead on 13 points. Argentina still yet to win a game this year in the Mad Dragon series, down on four points in fourth place. They'll be looking for a big performance today after some close games against the Wallabies. Can the Springboks, however, get on the front foot and put themselves in an even further lead in this year's championship as the ball going off? Oh, and actually bouncing off the head there of Peter Steph Dutoy. I don't think he was ready for that catch at that point, and uh, it's already gone a little bit skew -if. For South Africa early on as Choco Perez getting an offload there to Gomez Cadala gets it out to Del Gui who's playing out on this left hand wing today driven into touch though by Lucania Am who is playing in the centre department this weekend there's a lot of very talented players in the Springboks team as they get their first line out win of the game and Andre Pollard off to a great start there bashing his way through that midfield Argentina already looking very clumped together as the ball rushing up the line there is Lucania Am on a great run surging up he's partnered with Jesse Creel this week as he gets out to Mapimpi. another change coming in for South Africa this week maybe that up and under not the way to go collected well by Julian Montoya and now Argentina trying to get any sort of passage of play together from that early mistake let's see how it gets on as they get out to Santiago Codero finds room towards that backfield well collected though by Vili LaRue wanting to go on the counter-attack oh and manages to beat his man around there they're going for another high ball obviously South Africa feel like they've got the advantage in that aerial battle today that time collected and moves South Africa up towards that halfway line oh but a loose pass coming in from Marks there a season early turnover coming in for Argentina to Paulos gets it out to Del Gui wants to go for his own high ball can he get underneath it does can he just about stay in the field to play does manage it but South Africa in that breakdown such a fearsome team to go up against and Lacania Am this time just taking charge wanting to get that clearance kick away as they move it up to Malia in this fullback position wants to try and find room in that backfield can't do it again Asma Pimpi this time has his own kick will it stay in field and does it's going to be hard for it to get on Cadero trying to keep it in just can't quite keep his foot in touch and runs it into touch giving South Africa a huge bit of ground to make up there as Marks with a great offload to Jesse Creel who's found himself in so much space as Andre Pollard charging up through the middle who's going to be able to get back oh what a great tackle coming in there by Malia had to be made and Argentina find themselves pinned on their own five meter line going up for the charge this time going through those South African forwards as we know they love to do when they're so close to this line maybe spreading it wide though has been working for them again they hit that gap in the midfield it's not working for Argentina early on in this game they want to go quickly the captain Khaleesi steps into play scrum half as they get out to Cheslin Colby out on this wing bashing his way through numerous tackles eventually taken down by Kramer's they try and get it back out to their captain of Khaleesi. So close to the line. Reinach wants to play it quickly. Gets it out to Am. To Mapimpi. Wrapped up though by Codero on that opposite wing. South Africa trying lots of different things just to try and unlock this Argentinian defence. This time once again going through the captain. Oh and I think that's Peter Steph Dutoy. Comes in with a great line. All the Argentina players lined up to make the big hit. They weren't ready for that one offload play. Like we said that's a lot of different tactics coming in in a very short amount of time for Argentina to try and deal with. That is great work. They all lined up for that big collision. It was actually against Franz Malherbe going in on that line. They lined up for the big tackle. They weren't ready for the offload game. That is the first phase of that play where a little pop pass to a secondary forward came in and worked really well for them. Peter Steph Dutoy runs over for the first score of this game. It's been a bit scrappy in the early 10, but South Africa will feel like they're slowly gaining some momentum as Andre Pollard kicks that one so hard. It actually goes out of the stadium. Someone still yet to get in the stadium with their ticket in hand's probably going to bonk that one on the head like Peter Steph Dutoy did on the earliest kickoff of this game as Argentina get us kicked off and underway once again, this time collected by Mostert. And South Africa back in possession. Wrapped up though well by Choco Perez coming in for an enormous shot there on the South African player. Not managing to get through and this time Etzebeth dragged back inside his own field of play. They are inside but Kobus Reinach tried to keep it just in the field of play as he kicks it out to Cordero trying to run round the outside manages to get around one can he stay in field just about does referee looking very closely at it as Santiago Carreras pops it off 
to Paulos, to Kramer. Long pass out to Matera. Oh, gets it to Del Gui. Maybe a little bit late. No one really with him. Can Argentina hold on to it? They just about do. And Kramer this time going on the charge himself. Oh, he's a tough man to stop. And Cheslin Colby bouncing off of that tackle. Argentina are up into that South African 22. Back to Paulos. Great offload to Gomez Codella being moved through the hands there of the forwards. And Jasper Visa diving in to try and get that ball. Referee has picked it up for hands. Uh, going straight to ground on that one. What will Argentina do from here? We know they love their forwards, but they're going to take the three points. It's directly in front of the post. It's probably a good move for them. It's going to be an easy conversion potentially for Santiago Carreras. Just to get them on that scoreboard, just to keep them in this game. Slotted through by Carreras. Seven points to three. South Africa to kick us off back in to the Argentina half and Gonzalez this time gets it out to Gomez Codella to Lucio Sinti not managing to get around on the wing there and Peter Stefti Toy the try scorer fills in at scrum half this time just wants to show he can do a bit of everything in this one as this time Lacania Am takes a big shot there going in by Gonzalez once again and Choco Perez off the line quickly South Africa slowly being moved backwards here but they do have numbers out on this wing they try and go out through Jasper Visa this time nowhere to go that way as they go to Marks back inside to Andre Pollard might actually be slightly on his own but they do well to recover Lacania Am once again taken down South Africa have lost a bit of ground here maybe the good move would just be to kick this one into touch go in at half time regather some thoughts from that three points taken back but South Africa want to play on they know getting three tries more than their opponents this game getting that bonus point could mean the difference in this tournament oh and that time the ball running a little bit loose knock on from Jesse Creel Argentina not managing to pick up the loose ball though and the referee says we'll go in at half time seven points to three good tackle coming in there by the Puma defender but it is South Africa who go in at the lead seven points to three at half time well, this one was always going to be a fun fixture. The Pumas going up against the Springboks. Two teams who love their aggressive forward play. But it is South Africa that got off to the better start. After an early mistake coming off the head of Peter Steph Dutoy, causing a bit of confusion back in that South African 22. The breakdown work for them has been really good, being able to get those turnovers in their own half. But not only in the breakdown, the forwards have also been useful at carrying that ball further up the field. They got stuck on that five-metre defensive line for Argentina for a long, long time, trying some different attacking options but eventually the offload coming in from Franz Malherbe sees Peter Steph Dutoy charging it under the post to give us our first try of the day slotted through by Andre Pala to take the spring box out to an early 7-0 lead Argentina have fought back strong but they just can't quite find their way over to the try line some great defense coming in once again just not letting Argentina get the room in this game Argentina not finishing on zero though a penalty coming in for hands in the ruck from Jasper Visa does allow Santiago Carreras to kick over three points for Argentina, slightly keeping them within this game. They're only one score down, but there might need to be some big changes made going into the second half. On to the second half then, and a few replacements to talk about in this Argentina team. Oviedo's come on for Gonzalez. We also have Moroni on in the centre for Lucio Sinti, who maybe hasn't been impressing the coaches so far. But in the background, of course, South Africa have got off to a great start here, being able to collect that ball from the kickoff and are already on the charge. This is probably what the Springboks coaches will have been saying to them at halftime. Get in early, show that aggression. And Kobus Reinach is the one who wants to try and make it count. Oh, dragged into two touch by Santiago Cordero you can't get much closer than that he'll feel really hard done by to have not managed to have got that one to ground great work by the Argentina winger to have noticed that Kobus Reinach was going to go for that sniping run and this time they go out for the driving mall Argentina just trying to tie up some of those Argentina for uh, South African forwards sorry maybe just trying to allow them to have a slightly easier clearance kick but they don't go for it and Santiago Carreras Playing kind of wildly here as they go to Moroni, to Lavanini, drawing in Cheslin Colby and Del Gui, trying to run away. Oh, that is a set play. Maybe they talked about, but that has not worked for them at all. And South Africa get a line out in the Argentina 22. They could not get around the speed. So there was Cheslin Colby out on this wing and they're charging their way up. It's one on one. Mipimpi going against Santiago Cordero. He's already made one great tackle in this second half. And he's had to make another one there just to try and slow him down as Mostert trying to find room towards that try line. South Africa knocking on the door as Andre Pollard this time wrapped up by Gomez Codella. Argentina are not committing to these rucks as well. Trying to keep people. Oh, I thought Lacaniam had hit a fantastic 
fantastic hold there. Argentina are trying to keep men on their feet and it's going to have to work for them. This time Marks on the charge, not getting him in. Who's out to try and stop Mapimpi? Out on this wing, a little spin. Sees him go through. Nobody can dislodge the ball from his hands. And Mapimpi will go over for a South Africa's second try of the game over in this corner. That is another great shot by Santiago Cordero going in on Marks, but unfortunately with him not in position, everyone having to rush back across. We know how good of a finisher Mapimpi is out on this wing, managing to get round the defenders and getting over for a second try for South Africa. Can Andre Pollard slot this one through to take them out to an 11 point gap? That is a big ask for Argentina to get back into this game and Andre Pollard slots it through 14 points to three. His team really happy with him. At the start of this second half for Santiago Carreras this time. Gets us kicked off with a much higher ball this time. It comes down and Oviedo, who has been new to the field, yet to get his hands on the ball, managing to take that one. And Delgi goes for the up and under. Maybe not going to work for him. The ball allowed to bounce. And this time, Mostert wants to go quickly. The ball does well to not get picked up by any of the Argentinian players there. Thought maybe an interception was on. And South Africa once again just want to try and play this wide. Out to the try scorer of Mapimpi. Cordero having to come in. Mapimpi is just bouncing through tackles today. Such a tough man to stop. Reinach gets us kicked off again as Mostert on another big charge. Some of these South African forwards have been so hard for the Argentina team to take down today. And they pass it out wide once again. That time, Am getting wrapped up in the corners. They get out to the speedster of Chesling Colby. But Oviedo says, not on my watch. And closes him down. And I think he's isolated out there. And is the turnover will come in for Argentina. And out he goes now. One more pass to Paulos. Can't hit the gap. Great tackle. By Malcolm Marks there, not letting him hit the gap. And Carreras to Julian Montoya to Matera. Let's that pass go loose. And Vili LaRue picking it up well. Oh, not managed to be collected in the hands of the prop. And Kramer gets the turnover. Moroni, Carreras, another bounce pass getting out to Del Gui. It's been such a scrappy game for Argentina so far. They're really struggling to find any ground here. Oh, and it's gone the wrong way. They called it up towards that left-hand side. It doesn't work for them. And on comes Quagga Smith. On for the captain, Khaleesi. We know what an impact this guy can make from the bench as South Africa win the three-man lineup. They've got players further out. They probably wanted that ball to go wider rather than getting wrapped up in the tackle. Let's see what they can do from here, though, as Mostert, who's been busy this second half, making yet another charge as Lavanini this time wrapping up Andre Pollard. South Africa still on the charge. That time, Am, or oh, maybe slightly isolated, and Argentina feel blood in the water. They take that one, and Bertrano on the charge from Pimpi, and again, that offload game has not worked for them today. They've tried a couple of different tactics, and it's really not been paying off for them. Bertrano tries to go wide. Once again, their players just not stood in position, and there he is once again. The try scorer, Peter Steph Dutoy, picking up the loose ball on the charge. South Africa know another try in this game could be all important for the tournament. They will finish three scores ahead of Argentina. That is a bonus point coming their way if they can get it as Etzebeth pops it out to Am, who again has been popping up everywhere today. They still want to go out to the right this time. Quagga Smith. New to the field, trying to go. Cheslin Colby screaming for it out on this wing and they just can't get the ball to him quick enough. And this time, Oxen Shea wants to try and carry it on himself from the back of the ruck. Reinach as well, wanting to just try and make those extra meters. Argentina in full defense mode. South Africa, no, they don't want to keep this one out. They want to keep it in play. Argentina trying to hold on as Kobus Reinach says maybe they won't play on. Oh, actually tried to kick that one off the field, I think. It doesn't work for them. Julian Montoya manages to collect the ball. It's all gone a bit scrappy at that point. And Argentina have one more shot to do something with it as Cordero trying to charge up this wing. He's had such a good defensive game today, but nobody with him. And Reinach says, that's enough of that, please. We'll just kick that one off the field. Is that a good decision on based on the points on the tournament so far? Missing out on a bonus point try might come back to haunt them, but a win is a win. It will be securing their first place position. Argentina still winless in the Mad Dragon Rugby Championship. Only three points on the board today from the boot of Santiago Carreras. South Africa will feel happy with that performance. What do you think, guys? Will this be a similar scoreline to something we'll be seeing on the weekend? Or do you think Argentina could come bouncing back to take their own win against the Springboks? Drop it down in the comments, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.